Hello students. In my last video, we learned about the method hatching and hill shedding. Let's take the third method that is form lines. Form lines are contour lines. They are drawn as broken lines and so they are called form lines. They show only approximate heights above the sea level. For example, suppose here it is written spot height 40, which means that all the places which fall on this contour line are above 40 meter above the average sea level. Now moving towards the fourth method that is spot heights. Spot heights are dots with a number beside them. These numbers denote the height of that particular place above the mean sea level. For example, in this map, here it is written spot height 205, which means that the particular area height is 205 meter above the mean sea level. Let's explore the fifth method that is the triangulated heights. In triangulated method, the height of a place is fixed using trigonometry method. And it is shown with a triangular on the map with a number beside it. Now it's clear that in the map if you will see that it is written triangular 364. It means triangulated height of that place. The last method is bench marks. These are the permanent survey points. And it is written as capital B and capital M. For example, if in the map it is written BM200, it means the benchmark or the height of that point above sea level through accurate survey is 200 meter. See, in the map it is written BM225.3 means the height of that place is 225.3 meter above the sea level. In the same way, you will see another BM224.6. Now you know what does that mean. In any map, you will find spot height, triangulated height as well as benchmark. Now you can read all these three, isn't it? That's all for this video. See you soon in the third part. Till then, take care, stay happy and healthy. Bye-bye.